Now at five, one of the most rampant crimes plaguing California. What lawmakers say their new proposal to punish retail thieves will do differently. It shows how emboldened folks are because we're not holding people accountable. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are supporting this latest push. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebach. That bipartisan crackdown on organized retail theft was announced today in Sacramento. Lawmakers pledging this newest package of bills will address the types of crime that have really tormented everyone from small businesses to big box retailers. Our crime reporter Henry Lee live now in Walnut Creek with the details. Henry. Well, Mike and Julie, politicians are known for bickering and taking sides, but today they made it clear they're putting aside their differences to go after thieves together. As you guys know, our retailers have uh, gone many years and have been asking for the help, and I think that's what we're here to do today. A bipartisan push in Sacramento to crack down on organized retail theft. Politicians from both sides of the aisle working together to craft seven bills to put an end to snatch and grabs like these. This bill says to organized crime rings, we mean business, and we're going to give law enforcement the tools they need to shut you down. Taken together, the bills would allow law enforcement to combine similar thefts from different victims into one grand theft case in certain cases, allow DAs to pool resources across jurisdictions, and result in stiffer penalties and restraining orders against thieves. The legislation welcomed by retailers. Our employees are asking for it, Californians are demanding it, and retailers want to be able to just sell our products. We want to deter retail theft from even coming into our stores. People need to, to be safe, they need to feel safe. And making sure that we're responsive um, to California is, is critical here. And this package, I think it's the job done. But there's no turning back the clock on the criminal justice reforms that have been enacted. There's a separate effort underway to repeal parts of Prop 47, which in 2014 increased the threshold for grand theft from $450 to $950. Assembly Speaker Robert Rivas says the new package package of bills does not affect Prop 47. Uh, for us, it's understanding the root causes of this problem, which is complex. Uh, and for us, each one of these bills gets after those layers of complexity. Shoppers at Broadway Plaza and Walnut Creek say they welcome any crackdown on thieves. I think it's a great idea if they can work across the aisle to achieve anything. Um, you know, it doesn't happen very often these days. we got to do everything possible. I mean, I used to be part owner in a retail chain with my brother-in-law, and there was theft there. And... What people don't realize is that it comes back to the consumer. Well, here at Broadway Plaza in Walnut Creek, there have been a number of thefts here at Broadway Plaza, including at the Lululemon just a block away. In one case, thieves went to this Lululemon, then they went to one in Berkeley, Oakland, other counties. The idea here today is that if they're caught. The idea is to streamline the prosecution so that these thieves from different stores in different areas get prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Live in Walnut Creek, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, and Henry, you mentioned that this proposal does not affect Proposition 47. That's the law that many people believe has led to this current state of retail crime here in California. How are lawmakers defending their decision to leave that law alone while trying to address this problem? Well, that was a voter-approved initiative back in 2014. I think the thinking today is that they cannot, I mean, they meaning the legislators, they have no control over what could happen, whether this even makes the ballot in time for November. So what the thinking is they were able to cross party lines and control what they are able to do as legislators. All right. Henry Lee reporting live tonight in Walnut Creek. Henry, thank you.